Um, my name is Laura Luckhurst and I am a guide at St. Albans Cathedral and today I'm going to be talking to Professor Biddle about the dig that's going on in the monk's graveyard at the moment which is the very beginning of the Alban Britain's First Saint project. So, how has it gone so far? Well, it's, it's quite brilliant. It's all to do with <laughs> 19th and 20th century services for gas, water, electricity, Excellent. whatever you like. <laughs> yeah. No, it's a very diff it's a very difficult site. It's an exploratory piece of work to find out uh, how much archaeology is here, mm -hmm. what's got to be done to it, and there'll be a pause now while everybody thinks, and then it'll start again. This is where we're we'll be building the new welcome centre, and so that is why we're doing all of this, isn't it? You and I are standing inside it. Yes. yes. <laughs> Give right. us a couple of years yeah. and we'll be there, right? Yeah. So, so what sort of things have you found? Well, um, this was a parish burial ground mm -hmm. from after the Reformation, you know, after Henry VIII had the abbey dissolved and so forth in the middle of the 16th century, from, say, say 1530 or 1540 or 1550, right down to 1852, right. when the burial acts close the burial ground. Okay. So we've got a certain amount of burials mm -hmm. of a relatively modern period here. Some are very deep, some are very shallow, mm -hmm. because we know now that the ground level will grow up here as we put more and more burials and then they right. took it all away and then they started again. So mm. it's very complicated. But those burials are cutting down into the remains of the medieval buildings mm -hmm. that were on this site. They've damaged them a lot. Oh, right. Uh, but we can begin to see uh, we're standing against the south transept mm -hmm. with the south wall of what's called the presbytery beside us here. Mm -hmm. And where we're standing, there were two big apses when the church was first built mm -hmm. in the late 11th century. There were two big apses, one here, like that. Mm -hmm. We would have it just where the vestry is here. There, okay. would have been, there would be an altar inside it and it would have been a small side chapel. I mean, the, the story here really is, I think, threefold. Lots and lots of service trenches. Mm -hmm. As you can see, water, gas, electricity, And has storage. that made this dig particularly difficult, um, having those Well, not, not for these splendid people from yeah. the Canterbury Archaeological Trust. No, they, they know what they're doing. They know exactly <laughs> what they're doing. And there's a marvellous photograph, which I think you've seen, uh, looking down from above. Yes, Showing the whole thing. Mm. So that, that's the latest set of things from mm -hmm. the 1850s down to the day, all those services. Lots right. Of then, then we've got the parish grave. Mm -hmm. uh, it's called the monk's graveyard, but that's not what it should be called. It's, not quite it's sure. simply a graveyard for the Abbey Parish mm -hmm. between about, shall we say, 1550 and 1850. Okay. And then underneath that, we are getting very badly cut around remains from the Abbey. Mm -hmm. And they're quite interesting. Um, we know about these apses, but nobody's ever seen them in modern times. Yeah. Uh, and um, maybe later on. But at the moment, what this has done is it's given us an idea what's in front of uh, the developers, as it were, the, mm -hmm. the, the, uh, the builders, right. for the new structure. They, we've got to know now where they, how deep they want to dig mm -hmm. and how deep they need to insert services. Mm -hmm. Once we've got that, then we can see what more archaeology is going to be done. Right. So I think that's it now. We pause and think and look and the archaeologists will be back sometime in the new year. Okay. And we do our own. Well, thank you very much. Oh, sure. Great. Thank pleasure. you. <laughs>